as long as you have a desire to, to create new things and you kind of like a little bit of math or are interested in how things work on kind of a basic level, then you can go into environmental engineering. My name is Alexandra Polasco. I'm a graduate student in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at UCLA. It's very different than applying to undergrad. You're, you applied a lot less schools because it's much more, um, you're looking for a boss, right? So it's much more a selection process of, all right, do they like me, but also do I like them? Because this is gonna be my boss for the next six years. And I don't get to change bosses unless I leave the program. Right. And so if you're really dedicated to doing a PhD or you wanna go to grad school, you have to choose this wisely. Otherwise you have to move and start all over. So what I did is they highly recommend, and sometimes they require you contact professors in the department. And you contact them via email and you say, hey, I'm really interested in your research on X, Y, and Z. It fits with my background because of X, Y, and Z. And then usually I, I did Skype calls, phone calls. Uh, I met up at conferences with them. And you just talk and you have a list of questions and they kind of talk with you. You discuss funding, you discuss you know, research styles, you discuss lab styles. And then, and a lot of times that is what helps you get into grad school for at least this field because when they're looking at the applications of who to accept you have to pass the minimum like criteria like okay does this person have a 3-0 and does this person you know have take the courses that we need and then they ask I think the professors all right who who wants to take this person they're applying for a PhD and if no one answers well then it's like I mean if they're a stellar person okay we'll take a chance but really there has to be someone to vouch for you and to be like oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, I know like I, I met with them I spoke with them actually I'm really interested in them for our lab and so it's a very like it's a much more interpersonal application and process so and you only get to apply to one department which is I don't, I don't know if people know that but so every school you can only choose one department to apply to you can't be like maybe I want to do microbiology or engineering let me apply to both and see which one I get in yeah which one sticks exactly you unfortunately can't do that um, for better or worse so, yeah, the process, the process, I think, is a little more fun, though. Like, if anyone hadn't published, I would not let that discourage them. Yeah. Your other internships and other experiences will bode just as well as a graduate school application. The only thing they help with are maybe grants and funding. If you're applying to some uh, state grant or a national grant, sometimes they like to see, oh, they published, that's really great. But we take people of all backgrounds, which makes me feel kind of good. It feels less exclusive. exclusive. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which, I, which I really like. And I feel like people can relate to, too. Yeah. Like our research has a goal. Our research wants to help people. I, I really liked taking my microbiology classes because that's something I think people here sometimes lack. They, that's the one thing. Like our lab is really strong in microbiology, but... Um, I think in the department as a whole, people really struggle with that, and I really appreciate the classes I took. Um, anything to do with computer programming is really good. Like, go through the, like, the pain and the torture earlier than later, and I feel like I'm kind of experiencing that, where it's like my parents are like, they're old enough where they don't have to deal with the computer programming. They have people under them that deal with that, but it's like my generation that's going for job interviews, and on your resume, you have to have do you work with MATLAB? Do you, can you work with R, ArcGIS? All these different programs that help you like model things, and that's like the new thing, being able to model yeah. your system. So if I had a recommendation, it'd be like, just rip off the Band-Aid, take the computer programming class. <laughs> just uh, just yeah, just do it, just do it. Just yeah. do, you need it. Like it, even, it, and even if you don't maybe use it now, the fact that you can put it on your resume will help you so much. Don't be afraid to try something and not like it, which I think is really important. And even grad school or a PhD, or, or, or you're never too young or too old to start something. And so I think that's really good. And our, we have a lot of young people that, you know, you go straight from undergrad to grad school and that's great. Or you take time off and that's okay. That's great too. It's, um, there's no wrong way to go in this profession, I guess. Don't overload yourself. 
I think it's really easy to do. Um, and don't freak out. It's okay. I feel like I freaked out a lot. Like, oh no. And you look back, you're like, oh yeah, that kind of passed and that was okay. <laughs> so um, it's, it's all gonna be okay. And, and it's okay to like get a no and it's okay to fail. I think failing is part of actually having great success. Yeah. I've done a lot of it. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say it. <laughs> that was good. Cool.